Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ozone. I just realised my mic's really high, whatever. Um, welcome back to the Ozone. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, three weeks to be precise. But tomorrow, th th this is being released. What? Tomorrow? Like, time has flown. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday, uh, I re or three weeks ago, seems like only three weeks ago since I read uh, Coming Home, which is the last story in, um, what even was the last book called? Step Closer, that's it. Feels like only yesterday, literally. Um, and this one is coming out tomorrow, I believe. Anyway, I th it's, it's different things. It says paperback is the, is the 3rd of September. Yeah, this title will be released on the 3rd of September. But then it says the 1st on, on Kindle. Anyway. I think this coming out tomorrow, I think I'll be able to record an audiobook um, for tomorrow. Um, but we're going to look at uh, what is happening in this book because I've done this before with 1.35am and with Step Closer. Uh, there is a description here, there is a description uh, and we are going to need to read it uh, and, and see what is coming for us tomorrow. Um, so first of all, um, you can see down here, this is this is the picture. Uh, I don't think I can zoom into it, which is a shame. Uh, it's a picture of a bunny, never seen him before. Uh, he's got symbols, it reminds me of the uh, of the monkey from Toy Story 3. That is, <laughs> that is great. Um, he doesn't actually look that scary, he kind of looks kind of cute, but um, don't know, don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so for the first sentence, um, the first sentence always rounds up everything, every story, because all the stories are kind of in groups. Um, we've had loneliness in the past, you know, like, uh, I don't know what else really. Um, they all seem to be loneliness, to be fair. Um, but then here we've got, when left in darkness, rage festers. So it seems like all of these stories are going to be either in the dark or really dark stories. So we're going to see. <laughs> um, so the first story, years of frustration with his family culminate in a loathsome vacation for Bob, who plots a sinister prank to frighten his wife and kids. Hmm, interesting. I need to find my remote so I can take this thing off of the TV. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not going to find it in time. Oh. I found it. By the way, um, just sorry, I, I keep mentioning I keep I keep going off topic but no green screen I'm packing for uni <laughs> anyway uh, I'll talk about that in a different video um so yeah when years of frustration with his family culminate in a loathsome vacation for Bob who plots a sinister prank to frighten his wife and kids um what we'll find is it, it, it all of these stories are always to do with the father kind of uh actually no that's not true this one especially has to do with the father because he has wife and a uh, wife and kids. Um, it's specifically the father. His name is Bob. Very nice. Uh, I don't know why I said very nice. Sinister prank. Interesting. What could that be? Um, I, I mean, when I think of prank, I think of the older brother and the younger brother pranking. Um, but I don't think it could be that again. We've already had two stories about the older and younger brother. Anyway. Second one, Matt redirects to the residual anger, sorry, residual anger over his many failed relationships into a video game and ends up birthing the horrible consequences. Interesting. First of all, Matt Pat. <laughs> Matt Pat is in the story. Um This could be about FNAF VR. Honestly, honestly, um, he he redirects his anger over his many failed relationships into a video game. I don't know how that can tell us anything about FNAF VR. I don't know if there's, that if there's anything that we missed or anything, but hmm, I, there's not much we can really do there unless it's an arcade game. <gasps> FNAF World. It could be FNAF World. 
it could be FNAF World as well because there were a lot of there were a lot of video game kind of puns and uh, and aspects in that game, especially when you dive deep into the code. So FNAF World could have been like an arcade game or a video game or something in the FNAF universe, um, and ends up birthing the horrible qu consequences, much like Scott when he made FNAF World and he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I give up on this. Um, anyway, last story. Uh, in room 1280 of Her... I was going to say Hercules. Heracles... Her Heracles... Heracles Hotel. Hospital. Hospital. I thought it was a hotel. Heracles Hospital. Something evil is keeping a man alive. A man with gruesome burns all over his body and an iron will to live. I mean... That's a direct parallel, really. <laughs> um, something evil. Something evil is keeping a man alive. Not something good. Um, could be a lot to do with a remnant. I think the fact that evil is in that sentence means it's Afton. If not, I would say it's Henry. Um, we haven't heard much about Henry, but I would love to hear more about Henry. Also, H. H. H for Henry. <laughs> no. Um I don't know if one two eighty has any special meaning. Oh no, I don't think so. Um An iron will to live. Interesting. Um what I will say is remember how William Afton he survived the FNAF three fire. It could be after that he's staying in a hospital or something. Um and as I say again, all of these stories are parallels. Um it does not mean that Bob is just another name for William Afton. It means that Bob is telling the story that is a parallel to William Afton. It's it's similar, so we can draw conclusions from it. Um, what I will say is this is technically the last book in the series. Um, at least that was what was planned before Blackbird and stuff were released. Um, and then the other three as well. I say I'd say this is the end of a series of books. I'd say the first five are a series. Um, and there's no finishing sentence. Usually we get a final sentence saying like, "But in the dark world of F Freddy Fazbear's, what's lurking in the darkness?" Like, <laughs> like we don't have a final, um, a final sentence. So that's that's, hmm, very mysterious. Um, so yeah, as I said, that's that's pretty much it. As I said, um, there's not really much to talk about in this one. There's not many parallels, honestly. I just came here to look at what this was like. Um, this is one of my favourite covers, by the way. I really like it. I really like the the red and the blue, the nice contrasting colours. Um, and yeah, I that that's it really. Um, what are you, are you excited for this? This all comes out tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, if not, then I will do an update video. Anyway, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> I just said see you later.